it's Wednesday morning, it's probably the last dry day we've got for a bit. We've obviously had three or four in a row nearly now, so Paul is just going to put another bag of barley seed in. Going to drill another field now, hopefully it's just dried enough, and then we're going to go back onto wheat and uh, see if we can keep going basically. See how we get on. Uh, put the forks flat. So you should have get them in the heel or put them flat, otherwise that'll cut them. Maybe saw a bag drop then, live on camera. Hope next year's grains are a lot plumper. See the conditions it's been working in, look how sticky everything is. We've been waiting four or five days for this to dry. Rob dissed it on Sunday, it's now Tuesday. Still sticky. It's less than ideal, but we're just gonna have to go with it because once it rains again, we'll be back to square one. So, we'll see what's happening. He's just building the pressure up now and then he'll start in the corner. You have to have the fan running to get the pressure up. So we always do a little strike just to just to build it up. It's a shame really, this feels quite wet in the top corner. So, <laughs> when he's doing it's in the wrong place really. So expect that bit not to grow. <coughs> and then someone part that buggy in the way. I think you can see it, can you? Yeah. Got the beacons on again. Right, off he goes. Yeah, there's quite a few wheel marks just here now, you see. Drilling through. What's up? What? I can't see anything, I don't know why he stopped. Apparently a disc had stopped turning. Might have had a stone in it. Soil set overnight, they're turning now anyway. Oh, look how wet it is. Oh. Everyone keeps saying you need an 8RX for it. <laughs> Maybe we do today. The bulldozer in there. No. Just where it goes from one to the other, just kind of like rolling in the middle. It will go in wet conditions, this drill. At least when it's this wet, it self levels afterwards. Blech. I'm not sure you can see, but I've only been here 10 minutes and already feels getting a gray tinge to it because the sun's just bursting out the clouds. On the straights, he's got it up to 9k, so he's, he's covering some ground. Gonna double drill that bit where he was mauling, getting the wheels out. Rob's gonna go and try and dry some ground out with the discs again. Looks like he's getting his phone charger. I'm just going to fill the sprayer up and go and spray some barley. I recorded this yesterday and forgot to include it in the video. So we're going to do it again. So Tom Osborne is 21 and Julie Pike is 11 and Andy Dean is 60. And it's 48,365. It was only a 14 second clip yesterday. I've just done it in 11. But happy birthday everyone on there for yesterday. And there'll be more later. This is a field of barley that we drilled on Friday night. Andrew come back and drilled it for us when we were messing around setting the drill up. Going to now put pre-emergent spray on with a bit of glyphosate and knock, knock these weeds out. A lot of it's a cover crop of mustard from the other year, really. 
yeah we'll do that hopefully the barley will start to germinate anyway in a few days i've just jumped off the sprayer to do a video because it's world mental health day for do more ag they're in canada but they're actually global um it's filmed portrait so it might look a bit funny on the screen but it's just you know everyone thinks like the job's good because you're driving nice tractors you know or nice cars but in reality the energy farming at the moment it's just exhausting you know you heard of the saying pushing water uphill well i feel like it's hot water at the moment it's just relentless you know you work for a year farming and then lose a load of money and then now you're working extra hard to try and get stuff in un perfect seed beds in the hope that next harvest is going to be better than this it's just doesn't feel like it's going to be for me i mean i was talking to someone last night at the fringe event well tom bradshaw he's, he's in essex and it's too dry for him you know we literally can't win at the moment um no matter where you are but this summer has cost me a fortune and and what i think makes it worse is there was a massive high in may and june that glorious weather we were doing a combine run everything felt good and you get the combine in the field and it's a disaster and when you've had a high like that and then you come down to reality it seems to be even worse somehow so maybe i should have just stayed under my duvet in june and not bother driving a combine from john o'groats to land's end but yeah there's the short video that i've done for do more ag you've probably seen it already on socials today but here it is anyway i've been asked by do more ag to do a walk with me talk about mental health because as you know it's world mental health day or week whichever it depends when you're watching this video um farming mental health massive massive problem you know we drove a combine from john o'groats to land's end this june to raise awareness for mental health not just in agriculture but in every industry but in farming at the moment it's particularly difficult we've we've had massive inflation on all our input costs just here in the northwest of england we've had dry weather in may and june which has cost us daily hundreds of hundreds of thousands of pounds I have quite a lot of diversification and people say, oh, how can you moan? You know, you've just bought another farm. You've got a nice car. You've got nice tractors. You know, the, the, the sad thing is, is 80% of my energy every day goes into farming. And when that's losing a lot of money, that isn't good for your head whatsoever. And it's just a point of like, what, why do we bother farming? What are we doing? We've got governments that don't understand food production. They don't see the importance of it. You know, the, the biggest thing on the agenda at the moment in the UK seems to be railways. You know, we need to eat every day everyone needs to eat every day the mood is very low at the moment in agriculture the only constant is change and uncertainty and it is not good um you do question every morning why you get up and you get on one of these and yeah i mean i've just got off it to have a walk not just to do the video just for my own sanity really just to just to enjoy the view unfortunately it's a noisy view because there's a motorway behind them trees but you know what can we do about that but yeah get out there go for a walk try and enjoy what you can and if you are struggling pick up the phone and talk to someone there you go walk with me hashtag in fact one last thing how are you feeling today answer as a percentage leave a comment underneath if you've made it this far i'm i'm only 70 percent today i'm not feeling it at all um just purely because of the struggle of agriculture farming let us know in the comments anyway oh i missed it that train that's just gone past pulling all them containers it's called the royal scotsman now i've seen the flying scotsman but that was the royal one there we go that's the west coast main line it's a train going now in the opposite direction uh, pulled by a train that said freight line on the front. Oh, there's another train going there. They drive on the opposite side of the road, don't they? To cars. Don't think. In fact, that's the opposite way to what they go on the other line near Rainhill. This field here in the middle is pretty dry. There's bits in, there's damp bits where it's a little bit cheesy, where it's not been the best going in along the dual carriageway over there. It's very, very wet. You can see some of the ruts, but the rest of the field is predominantly dry. So it was drilled with barley last night. I'm just putting a pre-emergent spray on with a whiff of glyphosate to take out these grass weeds. Right, cast your mind back to this morning, which isn't that hard for people watching, because it's for you it's only, what, five or 10 minutes ago, but for me, it's a good few hours. 
this is the field that we came in and we were hastily mauling barley into. Well, it's dried quite nice. Uh, even the wet patch has managed to drill through, if you can see around the reflection. So fingers crossed, it'll take the bad weather that's coming now, it's dried enough and it might yield or at least come up. We got that much left and there's the tank. Here. That'll do me. Oh, perfect. Quick fuel stop, then back onto spraying wheat. Dad's doing some brushless and wood chip by the looks of things with the solace. Rob's been washing one of the grain buckets, got grain going out this week. Looks like he's actually brushing a wood chip he spilt log splitter on the back. I don't know what Ian's doing. He's head in the bucket. Big fill up. Full tank. 100 plus acres. Five fields. 20 minute drive to get there. It's going to be a late one tonight, I think. I feel a bit better this afternoon now. I'm at this field that was drilled uh, not yesterday, the day before. Oh, there's Adam coming back. Doing a tree job. Um, because well it looks good it's quite dry um, the, the wheat's in the ground the spray's going on nicely yeah I'm quite happy that this has gone in decent conditions to be fair it did start spitting when I arrived at the field but it's not now as you know I've been obsessed by the weather for the whole the last few weeks in fact all year and I've been checking it every day how much rain we're going to get see whether it's going to beat down what we've just drilled and it's forecast a couple of wet days and then pretty wet most of a couple of dry days at the moment and then wet 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 just check the weather now next week glorious look can you believe that so some of this that we've mauled in we might have been able to do next week I don't know but at least I suppose we can go and maybe patch up the wet holes if it doesn't come too much but how frustrating is that just finished now and it looks like Adam's playing with his new chip out with a big rainbow go and have a quick mooch it's gonna split that log with this like wood cracker thing Oh, the juice coming out of it. Probably a slightly drier log. Split them in half, you see they'll fit through the drum then on the chipper. You can tell it's new. ground shakes so he's cracked the top off now and it's fitting in the mouth of the chipper so let's see what it does in a second he only got the chipper yesterday so he's look at the screen confused in fact it's grunting oh it's opening up the jaw a wet log as well. See why you need the power. And there's a 
normal log. Easy. How can a popper log smell so nice? Stop look inside. That's the drum. How sharp they are. But what we're debating is what would happen if a sledgehammer went in. Because that's what happened to ours. And then these are the, the guards, the, the baskets, if you will. Which I've just took out and not put back in properly. That's right. Um, but you can't get stringy chip because it comes out and hits that and gets double chopped. Whereas ours, it doesn't do that. That's why we often put it through twice. But it's a different beast putting logs through to putting brass through. Luckily, I finished spraying in time. It's just... While I've been talking to Adam with his chip, it's got so windy. Them bags have been sat on that trailer for three days. Well, some of them have, but some of them from to this morning. As I drove up the drive, they blew off and stuck up to that hedge. So I've just struggled and ratchet strapped them down. But you can hear the wind whistling now. See the trees. So I'm glad I got my tank empty. Anyway, Morgan's still drilling. Probably the driest it's been for months now with this wind. But rain will stop play tomorrow. It's going a bit dark, so the birthday bumper. It's 48, 400 and something. But anyway, Jeremy Harris is on there. Lucas Starkey. Ross Bowers. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Steve Albinson in Florida. And Jasper Kington is 15. So happy birthday. I thought I think Lucas might be seven. So happy birthday, everyone on there. And obviously, them from yesterday. Got a bag of seed in the drill, gonna run that up to Morgan in about an hour when he needs it. He's just swapping fields now. I'm gonna keep going um, until the rain stops us probably. So might do a live later, might not, but that is all for today's video. If you made it this far, click like. Um, let me know how you're feeling today. Obviously it's World Mental Health Day, so I think everyone should say how they're feeling. You know how I am. Um, I'll see you tomorrow.